Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this Hitrol style spring bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. You could do it with 11 or, or with 10 or seed beads, it doesn't matter and you could do it with less colors and I'll show you how when I'm showing the materials. And um, if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself like I did these earrings matching this bracelet and I'll show them at the eye icon. And I also have a two color version of it and this uh, flower is the center of this one okay you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations and i will share most of them on my community tab on YouTube and down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what I'm using for this work are six colors of 11 or seed beads but you could use 10 or seed beads and you could use a less color you could use even two colors here I use three uh, greens uh, light middle and dark and you could use only one green color and if you look at the center of this pendant this is my pattern done with only two colors so if you don't have so many colors don't worry and now guys uh, what else I need is a jump ring and a clasp I'm using regular lobster's claw clasp you could use any type you like and this is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters you could use 0 0.14 or 0 0.16 it doesn't matter that much and you could use other beading thread of your choice here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers and in order to start my work I will put two feet of thread on my needle which is 60 centimeters and I'm going to start Okay guys, and in my first step I pick up six yellow beads. Okay, I have six yellows and if you watched my tutorial for the earrings, this will be absolutely the same work, okay? But then I'll show you how to make turn it into a bracelet. I mean the center of my earrings is the same as what I'm doing here, okay, six beads. If you haven't watched it, I have it at the eye icon, just to remind you. Okay, and I'm making a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then I'm making one more knot and I pull. Then guys, I go through a few beads in this direction. And now I have this. Okay, now I'm going to take orange bead and go through the following yellow. One more orange. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this. Now I will go through the first orange that I added in this row. And I'm going to take here an orange, a an yellow and an orange. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back in circle through this orange bead that I'm exiting out of. You see here I have something like a loop and I pull. Then I go through the following ato yellow ato and the next orange and i will repeat these steps orange yellow orange go back and go through the following two beads in one movement 
just to be just to save time okay then i need orange yellow and orange i go back and i go through the following yellow and exit out of the next orange okay like this and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, now I have this. Okay, and what I do next is that I go through this orange bead here. Okay, and I'm going to take one light green and I'm going back in circle through these two orange beads. Okay, and I pull. And when I pull, you see what I have a loop between my two orange beads and now I have this. Okay, here guys, I'm going to do an additional step. I'm going to cut this tail thread because it's on my way all the time. Okay, now what I want to do here because it's easier for me is to flip my work. It's not obligatory. You could use in the other direction just because I'm right-handed it's more convenient for me to work in this direction okay now i take five of these beautiful red beads and as i'm exiting from this orange bead here i go through the other orange skipping the yellow okay and i pull and this yellow bead is in the center of my work and then I go through the following orange, pull again, like this. Now I take one green bead, go back here through these two orange beads, like this. Now I have this. Then again, five red beads. Okay, five. And I skip the yellow and go through the following orange. And in order to save time, you could go through the next orange in one movement. And I need one green bead. And I'm going back in circle through these two orange beads. Okay. Then again, what I take are five red beads five skip the yellow go through the next yellow as well to save time take one green and continue this process until the end of this row Okay guys, and now what I do is that I exit through this orange bead, then I exit through the green, and what I need to add here is one middle green, one dark green, and one middle green. If you use only one color of green, you just take three green beads, okay? And I'm going back here through those beads then it's easier to flip my work you know and what i do next is that i go through all of those red beads here okay through all of them and my goal is to reach this green bead again i'm taking middle dark middle green okay and i go here back through it 
forming a loop and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay and here are my last three beads from this row and after I add them I want to do an additional step. It's not obligatory but I just would like to go at the edge of my work uh, to make my beads stay in one direction. When I was doing the larger earrings I didn't do this because there were more beads after this but now I will do this okay I'm just going around the edge adding a new thread pad to make my work stay more flat and not move around like this okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay guys and I reinforced my work and now you see how my beads stay in one direction more flat and what I want to do I'm here between those two beads and what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once then I go second time through the loop I've made I pull then I go through the following seed bead and then I cut my thread Okay guys, and now what I'm going to do is to make one more element like this or you could inverse the colors, uh, start with red beads and continue so on, inversing the colors. So these flowers will be yellow here. Okay, or you could do absolutely the same uh, pattern, it doesn't matter, whatever you like. Okay, and I will be back in a while to show you how I'm starting my bracelet. Okay guys, and I did the same pattern, but I inversed the colors here. And if you want to do this one, you could just pause the video, follow those steps, but um, do these colors instead of these. Okay, it's not obligatory, you could do only this flower, it will still look good. Okay, and now what I want to do, I didn't cut my thread as you may see, is to attach this one to this one. And I will do this using yellow beads, okay, I'm taking this one and as I'm exiting here at the edge, I'm going through the edge of my other element, the red one, okay. Then I'm going to take one more yellow like this and I will go back through this yellow to this green as well and I'm going to reinforce by going one more time through those beads it's not obligatory but I prefer to do this okay then I go here like this and I will go through all of my beads in this direction. Okay guys, now I'm exiting out of this edge and I'm going to repeat what I did from the other side taking one yellow bead, going back through this green just like this, just like this and I'm taking one more yellow and I'm going back through this green one and I will make one reinforcement here Okay, and I will go at the other side of this flower. I'm going through all of my beads in this direction. And this is where I will attach my clasp.
Okay guys, and here I'm in a position to attach my clasp and I'm taking two green beads, my clasp and then two more of these beautiful green beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back in circle through these yellow beads here. Okay. And I'm reinforcing, I will make a knot and then I will make another element and I'll be back and I will continue my bracelet and when I'm almost ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish it. Okay guys and when I continue these processes of adding more and more elements and I'm doing it by making an element, not cutting my thread, attaching it to the previous element and then making a knot and cutting my thread and now here I have seven elements and I attach the seventh one here then I went through all of my beads and now I'm here at the edge where I'm going to show you how to attach your jump ring and in order to do this I'm taking five beads and it is the same way like I attached my clasp okay and I'm taking my jump ring five beads plus my jump ring and I'm going back here like this or you could first do the loop and then attach them with pliers okay then I'm reinforcing Okay, do three or more times, as many as you can. And then I will make a knot the same way that I showed you before, making here between those beads a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And then I go through the following seed bead like this. I cut my thread and my ear and my bracelet is ready. Okay guys and now my spring hitch all style bracelet is ready and if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done like I have a tutorial also for earrings and uh, I will link it at the eye icon to see. And uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And down there in description, you will see a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.